What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different than usual. I think I'm going to try this for a while. You guys let me know if you like these kind of videos a little bit more. I got a lot more space now and I can goof around and do and try different things with my videos. But today we're going to talk about what the PlayStation 4 Pro is finally doing. What it should have been doing the whole time. I'll drop a link in the description. The PlayStation 4 Pro is finally doing what it was meant to do all along. When Sony launched the new PlayStation 4 Pro last year for $400, it came with the promise of better looking games. You spend $400, a jump over the standard $300 price tag for the PS4, and you get games that run faster, smoother, and better than ever before. That was the promise of the PS4 Pro. Some PS4 Pro games are even playable in 4K, the next graphical step up after HD. And that's sort of been the case. On a game by game basis, there are better looking games. More specifically, Games only look better if the game's developer makes it a point of updating the game so that it takes advantage of the PS4 Pro's increased power. Even more specifically, unless a game company spends the time and money to update an older game for the PS4 Pro, it looks and runs the same as it does on the standard PS4. Worst of all, it's not clear which older PS4 games have been upgraded and which haven't. There's no easy list, no easy way of quickly knowing whether or not a game has been updated other than to Google around in the hopes that someone's written about it. Any game that launched after the PS4 Pro is all set, but there are dozens of great games that launched before September 7, 2016, and if you're shelling out $400 for a console that you could just easily spend $300 on, don't you want all the games to look better? The answer is yes, of course, yes. And Sony's finally making this happen, almost six months after the PS4 Pro launched. In an upcoming system update for all PlayStation 4 Pro consoles, update 4.50, Sony is adding boost mode to the PlayStation 4 Pro. This is incredible, and I will have my PS4 Pro very soon. And the new mode does something really basic that the PS4 Pro should have done since launch. It lets the PS4 Pro run a higher GPU and CPU clock speed in order to improve gameplay on some PS4 games that were released before the launch of the PS4 Pro. So all the games that have been released previously that developers might not have had the money or put the time and effort into, now there's a mode on the PlayStation 4 Pro which allows those games to run smoother at a higher frame rate. So this is what people have been asking for from the jump. In English, that means that the boost mode makes games look prettier, run smoother, and launch faster. Games that have a variable frame rate may benefit from a higher frame rate, and load times may be shorter in some games too, said a Sony rep to The Verge. Of course, the problem remains that not all games will run better with this feature turned on. Sony ambiguously says that, quote, some, end quote, games released before the Pro launch will be improved by boost mode. We've asked what's excluded and have yet to hear back from them. All that said, it's nice that Sony's fulfilling the promise of the Pro to make all PS4 games look and run better, even though it's what the console should have done out of the box. This is great news. This really gives a lot more value to the PlayStation 4 Pro. It's been kind of an ambiguous thing. Uh, you know, people have been wondering what ga I personally have been wondering. My older brother has a Pro. He got his on launch. And uh, he came over and borrowed about 20 games from me. And he asked me which of them had, you know, PlayStation 4 Pro upgrades or, you know, higher frame rates or higher resolution. I told him that there were older games that I did know about, like Infamous First Light, that did have the upgrade. Uh, games like Shadows of Mordor has the upgrade. But other than that, it's just been a list that nobody really knows. So this boost mode with uh, update 4.50 is going to make the PlayStation 4 Pro much more accessible for people. Uh, even if a game doesn't have this ability out of the box, the console is going to overclock it and make it better than it could have been theoretically before. I'm just anxious to see how this is actually going to work. And it's always good to see Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo working on iterating their hardware and making it more user friendly and giving it more abilities for gamers to enjoy their games at the peak top level. Top resolution, top frame rate. I think it's a great idea. You guys let me know what you think about PlayStation 4.50 update for the PlayStation 4 Pro that adds boost mode and gives and makes games that theoretically weren't even upgraded for the PlayStation 4 Pro run better. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also let me know what you think about this new format. Do you like this face to face thing? Would you rather just not see my ugly face? Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.